What's that? Mom, you haven't packed anything. I've been busy, Margie. I spent the past three weekends packing up all your stuff, and I told you Margie, all you had to Margie, do was... Margie, always in charge -y. I left work early. We were supposed to be on the road already. You think it's easy to throw your life... I'm not making you throw anything away. I am renting you a storage space with my Pack money. Pack up everything, Mom. Hurry and up, Mom. And you haven't packed anything. Candy Mountain isn't going anywhere. It's Sugar Hill Rest. It's a dump. You said you liked it there. I like my home. Mom, we have until 6 o'clock to get you checked in. Grandma? This rusty old coffee can was sitting on your bedstand. Can I throw it away? Ugh, that old thing. No! Don't throw it out. I'm keeping it. Come on, Hannah. Let's go pack up the bathroom. We have to make sure we get all of Grandma's medications. You've got an hour, Mom. It's been a while, Mrs. Best Friend. Looks like I'm leaving again. Remember this one? Miss Mary Mac, Mac, Mac. All dressed in black, black, black. Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, black, black with silver buttons, buttons, buttons all down her back. Silver buttons, buttons, buttons all down her back, back, back. Elizabeth, get your head out of the clouds. Them weeds ain't gonna pick their sails. Uncle Casey, we was just watching. If you don't finish pulling them weeds, you don't eat. I'm trying to. <laughs> you forget who you're talking to, little girl? You lollygagging again. Now give me that coffee can. No, I'm sorry, but I'll do better. Look, look, I'm pulling weeds. I won't get distracted no more. Please, just don't hurt her. Her? This ain't your girlfriend, it's a rusty old can of lockjaw. Jesus, Lizbeth, you a mongoloid or something? I wonder your parents don't want you. Do too! What'd you say? Yes, sir. Now you get back to work and you do what you're told. Maybe, just maybe, I'll give you back your rusty can. Alright? Now let's get this goddamn thing moving. Yes, sir. with that whistling, Isaac. You know I can't whistle and you just... Oh! Why, hello there, little girl. Hi. Good day, sister. My name is Isaac. And this is Jack. Forget about Jack. My name All is... right, let's cut to the chase. Is your mom or pappy around? They're in California. What is that? Sass? 
You telling me you run this here farm by yourself? Lizbeth, who are you talking to? Isaac and- Oh, well, hello there, friend. John Randolph Hurst, my associate and me was- We don't want any. We ain't got any. Any what? Anything. Girl, you watch your mouth or Now, I'll... brother, I can assure you that we're not looking for anything beyond what you might be able to spare. And, sir, we ain't looking for no handout. We gladly sing for our supper. See, I got this little old harmonica here. We don't go in for all that racket. If you can't spare anything, we'd be happy to make your acquaintance and simply pass a moment or two of these hard times together. Wherefore, receive ye one another as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Are you some kind of preacher? Some kind of something. Well, we're a God-fearing household here. Come on. Rosemary might have something for y'all. Peace be to this Elizabeth, house. Elizabeth, grab the bucket, get some water from the pump. Yes, sir. Here, we can help her. It's the least we can do to show our appreciation. Ah, oh, shoot. I already got my boot off. Isaac, you go ahead. Rosemary. This is John Randolph Hurst. I don't need no help. I can do it myself. Oh, I know. I just wasn't ready to go inside just yet. Butts. What's that? My name is Butts. Not Elizabeth or Lizbeth or Lizzie or any other damn thing. Butts, huh? That's unique. What's unique? It means special and different than anything else. Oh. My folks must have used to thought I was unique, because they named me Butts. Well, first they named me Elizabeth, but then they called me Butts because they said I was cute as a button. Then they left me here. I'm sorry. Well, the bank took our farm, and Pa said ain't no work in all of Alabama, but he heard they was just giving farms in California. Well, Nathan and the twins was too young to leave behind, but he and Mama said, Butts, you're old enough to look after yourself now. They said they was gonna send for me when they was ready, but it's going on three years now. Well, this seems like a pretty agreeable place to wait. It ain't. Uncle Casey just puts on a good show for company, especially company that lacks Jesus. But I'll tell you something. When I was your age, someone used to be very mean to me too. And I don't know about you, but I felt very alone. But you know what? What? I was never alone. And I want you to know that you are never alone either. God is always with us, especially in the hardest times. You understand? Here, you hold the bucket. Mr. Isaac, if you ain't a preacher, what are you? Well, first things first, no mystery formality is needed. You can just call me Isaac. But if you want to give me a title, I'll take Brother Isaac. And I do a bit of everything. But I like to think of myself as a crusader. I don't know what that is. Well, I travel from place to place to spread the word and do God's work. Oh, that's nice. And unique. Was Jack a crusader too? Not exactly. He's... He's doing the best he can. Uh-huh. And your hair is unique, too. <laughs> Thank you. This is called a tonsure. It's what someone does to show that they're a monk. Monks make you do that? No, no. No one made me do it. I choose to, as a sign of devotion to God's word. Huh. Well, we read the Bible some, but it's kind of long, and I just like skipping to the end with all them monsters. <laughs> I can take the bucket now. Well, you carried it here, so allow me to be chivalrous and carry it back. If you wouldn't mind too terribly, m'lady. <laughs> you talk funny, but you can carry the bucket if you want. And I said, it ain't Wendell Wilkie. <laughs> <laughs> Liz, like, when the hell took you so long? You walked to California for water? Oh, it was my fault, ma'am. I get to talking and lose track of time. <laughs> that sure do sound like him. <laughs> <laughs> By George, I, I'm pretty near busted gut with you two. 
Now, if I can be so bold, do you find folks have a back door to the, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's just down the hall. Oh, much obliged. Mr. Hurst, I'm sure these fine folks don't want you traipsing mud around their lovely... I took my boots off, brother. <laughs> it's all Didn't right. Didn't you already go back at the depot? I ain't a camel, Isaac. A feller's gotta go more than once a day. You two ever see a camel before? Uh, no, no, can't say we I have. I've never seen a camel. Well, boy, you two sure are in for a treat. Isaac here knows all about camels. No, that's not... No, don't be modest. <laughs> you know all about camels. Them three wise guys wrote them. Don't. Get a load of this loon, <laughs> Isaac. Camels. For us spring a leak. Uh, well, well, and say it real loud so as I can hear you from the outhouse. They are these, uh, grandma... Grandma? Grandma. Grandma? Oh. Oh, I I'm sorry, dear. What? Grandma, you haven't packed anything. Mom's gonna have a conniption. Well, she'd have a conniption anyway. <laughs> Grandma, you got like 10 sets of playing cards in here. Can I throw some of these out? You could throw them all away. They're missing the face cards. You used to steal them and bury them in the backyard. Do you remember that? No. Your pop-pop and me watched you from the kitchen window. <laughs> we, we laughed so hard, our faces hurt. Why did I do that? I don't know. We never asked you and you never told us. We just kept buying new sets, so. I guess those are yours if you want them. Now I kind of feel bad throwing them away. That's because you're a good girl. You take after your grandma. Marjay! Marjay! Do you want daddy's magazines? What, mom? Here, sweetheart. Take these National Geographics to your mom. Please don't play that song, Jack. Why? You know why. You play it every time you... Every time I what? Every time you covet something that's not yours. Steal something? From good old Casey and Rosemary? Why, I've never been so insulted. Just don't... Isaac, this ain't the kind of thing neither you nor me need be answering. Now, I know the answer, and you think you know the answer, but the answer I think you're thinking, if answered, would more than likely hurt the nature of our working relationship. So... Brother Isaac? Mr. Gadabout Jack? Butts, what are you doing out here this late at night? Um... Spit it out. We was having an important conversation. We're running away. We want to go with you. Who's we? Me and Mrs. Best Friend. <laughs> A coffee can? I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to Brother Isaac. Gad about Jack ain't taking no charity cases. Uncle Casey hits me. Not enough, seems like. I know what's right and what's wrong. Brother Isaac, please. I need help. But running away, it doesn't solve all your problems. You goddamn hobos! You stole my silverware! Damn sure ain't taking her hopping trains. She's so small she can barely climb over a dang log. I can hop over any old log. Hi, she want to tip off the bulls. What bulls? What bulls? She don't know nothing from nothing and she gonna get us killed. We can't just leave her here. She needs our help. I know you know that's true. She needs a plain old switch to the backside. She got a roof over her head and it's got her spoiled. What do you suggest we do then? That ain't my concern. She can do whatever she wants and I'll do whatever I want. And I want to leave her. There she blows! Well, I can do whatever I want, and I want to take her, so you can take that or leave it. Oh, yeah? Whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receive ah, it. Ah, get down off your angel horse, Isaac. You can't save everybody. But this isn't everybody. This is just butts. Don't you see? That's how it starts. Okay, now what? 
We are going to take Butts to her family in California. You are? Thank you, thank you! You've been you. drinking Jake and not telling me? Jack, please. I am telling you, I need to do this. Isaac, this ain't some small favor. This is traveling across the country to a place I ain't so fond of, and tell you true, they ain't so fond of bums like us neither. I ain't taking this little brat to California, and that's that. Well, you can do what you want. But I want to take her to California, and so I am going to take her to California. And if you don't want to go, then I guess that is that. Well, Isaac, we gotta take this to old Bindleback. What's that? You hush your mouth. What's old Bindleback? Are you serious? Old Bindleback is the judicious, propitious, factitious king of all gadabouts, hobos, and tramps. You ain't never heard of him? No. Feller's been a hobo since God was a baby. He knows everything about everything. And then some. You plead your case, I'll plead mine. And if old Bindleback says, take this here kid California away, I'll button my lip and go happily. I don't know who this man is. I barely know him myself. That's what makes him such a good judge. He knows everything. Just because a man is intelligent doesn't make him just or fair. Don't you trust me? No. I'm talking to Isaac. Isaac, we knowed each other four years. Yes, I have known you for four years. All these years. I taught you all I know about riding the rails, and I ain't never asked you nothing. That's not true. I ain't gonna let this little girl split up our business association willy-nilly. You need me. You don't know what it's like traveling alone. A hobo on his own is a fate I wouldn't wish on nobody. I know. I done it. Fine. We'll see what Bindleback has to say. Woohoo! You ain't gonna regret this. <sighs> Where is he? Bindleback travels. But last I heard, he's been seen up in Raynale, West Virginia. That's the opposite direction. Isaac. A great man once said, sometimes you gotta go a long ways out of the way in order to come back a short ways correctly. Who said that? Jerry? <sighs> Fine. But where'd she go? Isaac, come look. I ain't never seen a sunset like that before. You think sunsets are prettier on a train? I think sunsets are always the most beautiful whenever you're on your way to somewhere you need to go. Me too. It's the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen in my whole life. Tough one. Is it grass? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> your turn. I spy with my little eye something green. Is it grass? <laughs> <laughs> Well, boy, I was lost. Didn't know where I was, where I was going, or even where I been. No food, no water. Damn near dead. So I started playing this old girl. And then, out of nowhere, a swarm of buzzards come flying over my head, squawking and carrying on. I never seen nothing like it. Thought they was the angel of death coming for sure. What happened? Old Bindleback comes traipsing out of a briar bush. He says, that's some of the prettiest playing I ever heard. And he introduced himself, and I introduced myself. He called me close, and he whispered in my ear, the meaning of life. And 
What was it? Ain't for me to say. But maybe Bindleback will whisper it to you when you see him. But then how did you get back to town? Who cares, you dummy? Jack, don't call her a dummy. She's just taking an interest in your story. But that ain't the point of the story. The point is, old Bindleback is a man that appreciates good music. The point of the story was supposed to be, how do we find him? I was getting there. So, once we get to Fayetteville, Raynell is one more day on foot. Then we climb up Sewell Mountain. We just keep an eye for the swarm of buzzards flying over his head, waiting for him to croak. Them buzzards is as sure as a compass. Here comes a real trickety one. I spy with my little eye. Something green! Ooh, that is tough. You got this one, Jack? I told you both, I ain't playing. The answer's always grass. <laughs> You still ain't. This ain't nothing. Wait till you see the Rockies. On your own. Some other time. Not with us. Jack, how much farther is it to Old Bindleback? Buzzards! We're close! <laughs> is that him over there? He's staring right at us. Don't let that throw you. He's blinder than a bat. Ew, he's taking a dump. No, nah, he just finished. See, he's wiping himself. Oh, Jack, he's using the same hanky to blow his nose. He's efficient. All right, now, follow my lead and Careful, he's a bit skittish. Old Bindo! Oh yeah, he's got some booby traps. How do we get down? I can feel my heart beating in my head. Calm yourselves. Look, here comes Bindle back now. He's so old, how's he do so many cartwheels? Hey, mind your manners. Don't go embarrassing me in front of him. Old Bindleback, it's me, Gadabout Jack. Remember me? I've never seen him like this. It's your fault, girl, stepping on that twig. Now old Bindleback's probably going to eat us. I didn't step on the twig, you did. Stop it, both of you. It doesn't matter who... Your friend lives in this camp. <laughs> Mrs. Best Friend says not to worry. She ain't scared. She's fine. Oh, good. Allow me to apologize, Miss... But... But... For my outburst, these traps... Oh, they can take a long time to set up. <laughs> it can be very, very uh, aggravating. I'm sorry, too. We didn't mean to disturb your traps. And also, I didn't mean to call you a crazy old coot. It's all right. I've been called worse. Howdy, old Bindleback. It's me. Oh.
forget about Jack. <laughs> How old are you now? 70, 80, 33. And this is my business associate, Brother Isaac. Uh, an honor to meet you, old Bindleback. I've heard so much. Bindleback, can't you cut us down? Why don't you tell me what kind of business brings the three of you? Oh, 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 oh. I meant four. Excuse me. <laughs> the four of you to seek my counsel. Well, you see, old Benderback, Isaac and me can't decide. Not it. you. Oh. Mr. Old Benderback, I want to find my family in California. California? Uh, that's well over a, a million cartwheels away. It's quite a long journey for a young girl and her friend to take. You know uh, where in California you're going? My folks sent me this letter. It's got an address on it. Uh, oh, 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 Anaheim. Well, you know where that is. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> it's lucky for you that you have two such capable guys to help you on your way. Now, wait just a second, you crazy old coot. I couldn't agree more, old Bindleback. You're as wise as Jack said you were. Now, now to cut you down. Oh, whoa. Ah. Hey, you forgot about me. Are you going to accept this quest? No. Why? She's spoilt. She has four walls and a roof, and, and, and she gets fed every day. More than I had, and ain't no traveling angels come and save me. That's not her fault. So? So? Seems like you've got a choice to make. You can either help Isaac accompany Butch to California, Oh, you can hang upside down here. Damn it, that ain't no choice. Shoot yourself. Son of a... Wait! Wait! Okay, I'll do it. I'll take her to California. So it's settled? Yes, yeah, settled. Excellent choice, Jack. Yeah. Ah, God damn it! Thanks for nothing, Bindleback. I thought you was on my side. I don't see sides. I'm blind. <laughs> but this is best friend. On your journey home, it is my wish that the rivers you meet be shallow enough to wade through, and if they be too deep, that you find the tools to build a proper bridge. Thank you, old Bindleback. Until we meet again. Jack, you said it's settled. Yeah, it's settled. But I don't have to like it. Now listen, you little half-a-orphan. We're gonna have some rules when you're traveling with Gadabout Jack. Rule number one, don't talk to Gadabout Jack. You got something to say, say it to Isaac. Yes, sir. What did I just say? Isaac, please tell him, yes, sir. Jack, Butts wants me now, to Rule number two, you always walk 10 feet behind Gadabout Jack. Rule number three, get about Jack, don't change no diapers. I don't wear no diapers. Rule number four, no back talk. Rule number five, my money's mine. This ain't no Russia. Rule number six, I ain't no morning person. Rule number seven.
Rule number 679. I play the harmonica. We don't need two. If you want to learn an instrument, there's the guitar, the banjo, the ukulele, the banjo lele, and the I don't give a rat's ass, not the harmonica. Isaac, I'm hungry. Can we get a sandwich? Ha! Sandwich? We're traveling with the Queen of England. Tell you what, you stay here with Jack, and I'll go look out back and see if I can scrounge us up some rolls. Hey, that's rule number 438. I ain't no wet nurse. How much a sandwich cost? A nickel. That it? That's a nickel more than you got. I bet you I can get a nickel faster than you. How much you want to bet? Two nickels. <laughs> this will be the easiest three nickels I ever made. You see that guy over yonder? Yeah. Well, before I was gad about Jack, I was pickpocket Jack, stickiest hands in the Middle West. Watch and learn. He ain't got no money. You shut up. Didn't I tell you about rule number one? That man ain't got no money. Lucky guess. See that lady over there? Buck 50. Oh, she does, does she? God damn, looky here. A dollar fifty? You some kind of witch? No, Mrs. Best Friend told me. Your coffee can? Uh-huh. Oh, she's got all kinds of powers. One time I almost got bit by a rattlesnake, but Mrs. Best Friend sang a song real quiet, and that snake just went right asleep. Well, I'll be dipped. But you, me, and Mrs. Coffee Can are all gonna be best friends. You owe me three nickels, and we ain't friends. Butts, I'm sorry I couldn't find anything, but maybe we'll find something outside of town. Well, don't worry, Isaac. Guess what? Jack found $1.35, and he offered to buy us supper. Ain't that nice? Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? I said, isn't that nice? Mom, is everything all right? Without all the stuff, this house echoes. Yeah, it's weird. So many memories everywhere I look. Here, don't forget your coffee can. Margie, did you kids like growing up here? Of course, Mom. I don't want to go. I know, Mom. Mom! Grandma! Come check this out! What is it? <sighs> Hurry! Well... I'll be... That is the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen. Stretches out is paved with sugar crystals and sons of a gold tangerine that points us to the sea. The rivers flow with honey, the trees are filled with money. We'll be living high on steak and wine instead of pork and beans. Oh, oh, oh tangerine dream road. So, buddy, kick your shoes away. We're gonna have a place to lay between the fertile fields of hay and the mountains made of gold. Keep your eye on the tangerine, the answer to our every dream. Feel your worries fade away with each step on this road. Oh. 